Hey everyone, it's Asia Dang, and thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the 10 habits that have completely changed my life. You know that I am always on the search, on a quest for bettering myself, whether that is, I guess, like spiritually or financially or productivity wise. I'm always on the search of self improvement. This is an open sharing community. If you have any habits that have changed your life, please let us all know in the comment section. Habit number one is budgeting. You all know that I am on a quest in adventure. It's kind of like a war. It's a war to defeat my student loan debt. The one thing that has really helped is budgeting. Um, budgeting sucks. It is not fun. Um, however, it is the only surefire way to guarantee that you stay on track in terms of finances. It is the only way to make sure that you actually know where your money is going. Taking control of your finances is a really great step and since I've done that I've paid off about forty thousand dollars in debt and it has been the start of a totally new chapter in my life. The second habit that has totally changed my life is finding a skincare routine that works for me. Skincare is just more important than makeup. Um, I have always been that way but it wasn't until a couple years ago, I think maybe four years ago, that I started really um, being active in deciding what type of products work best for my skin. A lot of you all ask me advice as to, you know, what kind of a cleanser should I use with my type of skin? I can try and give you advice, but at the end of the day, I am actually not a professional. I just know what is best for my skin. So I can't really give you all solid recommendations other than what I am personally doing. I actually just discovered a solution I think would work really well, not only for myself, because I've been using them, but also for you guys, and it is a website called Beauty by Design. And also, thank you to them for working with me on this video. But Beauty by Design is basically a website that gives you access to an esthetician via email, via text, and they, in return, suggest you, uh, skincare products that are best suited for your skin type. So what you do is you log on to beautybydesign.com, you start to fill out a survey, and you even click what price point is best for you. It's all about spending right, not spending the most. After that, you send a scarily close-up picture of your skin. Texture, pores, and sunspots are my concern. And then an esthetician, goes ahead and figures out the best type of products for your skin concerns and skin types. And the other cool thing about having the esthetician is that they are here for you. So like I said, if you move, if the seasons change, if your skin is just feeling different, you can either email them or text them and they will help you out. I like to communicate with my licensed skin expert via text all the time to ask your questions. You get unlimited access to them at no additional cost, so it's just really convenient. So it's really about building a relationship with you, the clients, in order to better your skincare experience. The moment that I knew that I loved the recommendations that uh, the esthetician sent me was trying out the face wash. Because for me, I have sensitive skin. Um, even if a face wash says that it's moisturizing, I can tell immediately that it's going to dry out my skin. However, when I use the Purify Number 179 Mattifying Cleanser, it does not dry out my skin, it doesn't make my skin feel dry, so I know that the recommendations that Hillary sent to me are in fact really perfect for my skin type. Having a morning and nighttime skincare routine has completely changed my life. I started this a couple years ago and if you are still trying to figure out your skincare routine or if you feel like your skincare routine is no longer working for you, definitely test out Beauty by Design. Start to build your skincare routine and I promise you your life will be changed. Habit number three is 
my gua sha tool. For the skin, it can increase blood circulation and drain toxins, which prevents wrinkling and aging. Gua sha jade rolling, I think is a really great habit to start doing if you are in fact really into skincare. All right, number four is something that I started doing recently, but it has completely changed my life and it is to listen to podcasts. Depending on what you want, it is just a great way to either relax or to learn or to grow or to do all of the above. First, the very first one that started me on my podcast journey and on my debt journey is uh, the Dave Ramsey Show. I also really like Almost 30, The Bitch Bible. That chick is funny. However, if you're easily offended, it's not for you. How I built this with Guy Raz. Brian and I actually listen to the Joe Budden podcast all the time in the car. Whether you're into like self-growth, uh, business, finance, there is a podcast for you. The next habit I'm gonna talk about is waking up early. Just naturally, I wake up anytime between 6.30 and 8. It kind of helps now that uh, we have such great natural light in my bedroom that once the sun comes up, we just naturally wake up so I don't really set an alarm anymore. It feels really good to start the day before anyone else starts the day, before it gets crazy. I like to walk my dogs when it's really calm outside. I like to work out when the gym is really empty. A lot of people aren't morning people. I totally understand that. Like I said, I wasn't a morning person either, but Starting my day early has definitely become a habit that I've really enjoyed and by two or three in the afternoon I'm basically done with my day. Habit number six. I am really on a journey to becoming uh, at least plastic free. Um, I know it's really difficult and I'm nowhere close to doing that but something I've done, two things actually, tip six and seven. Um, one of them is I've started leaving reusable grocery bags in my car. That's a habit I've been doing for a couple years now. Leaving reusable bags in your car is just a great way to ensure that if you do have like a last minute grocery store trip or shopping trip that you didn't count on, there are still bags in your car that you can go ahead and bring in and use. Not only do I have my reusable grocery bags, but I do also still have like plastic bags that I've had for like months and months and months ago, I'll use that, I'll reuse those bags, and then I've also added some cloth bags. Another easy habit that I've started um, with Mother Nature in mind is to carry around uh, reusable straws and utensils. Now when Brian and I go to restaurants, I always make sure to tell them to not give us uh, straws. And um, when we go out to eat, I always bring out my like, uh, stainless steel straw and people think it's really cute so it's I thought it kind of be uh, an inconvenient habit but it's actually really fun and it's a great conversation starter so it's really easy I normally carry my mini backpack around when I leave the house anyway so it's not inconvenient and for me it's just really good to know that I am prepared just in case I make an impromptu stop to eat or to get a drink or whatever my next habit is all about the planners. You guys know I have like three planners going on. It's crazy. Are three planners unnecessary? Probably. But for me, they um, each serve a different purpose. My happiness planner is my daily to-do list. My passion planner is a week overview. And then um, my eye calendar kind of just gives me locations of all the locations I need to go to. They work cohesively, um, but it is the only way that I can keep my life organized. If I lose one calendar, specifically if I lose my passion planner, I'm just so fucked, it's not even a joke. It just keeps my life organized. Um, it keeps me stress-free. If you're trying to find your groove of things, figure out what exactly you want from a planner, uh, creatively how you want it like um, outlined and I'm sure there is a planner for you. Second to the last habit, which I never thought I, I would say would become a habit, is running with my dogs. 
Now, I absolutely hate running. Like, I would rather go to the gynecologist, I would rather go bathing suit or jean shopping than go running. You know, I love my dog, so anything for them, I'm all for it. So, if the end of the road is a dog park, then I'm a run to that dog park. Luke has a lot of energy, so he runs with me. Levi um, is kind of a diva. He will stop when he wants to stop, but that doesn't really work with my running. So I take my doggy stroller, put him in the doggy stroller and push him. It's the only way that I really love to run. Sometimes with things that you hate doing, you just need to figure out a way for you to love them. I've also started to use this app called Active. Um, it's a fitness app that you work out to music and I am really music driven when it comes to workouts so that's another way that I've helped that has helped me to run um, but mostly running with my dogs. Now the last habit that has completely changed my life and I'm sure will change yours if you don't already do it is to clean as you go. I, I would like to consider myself a clean person but sometimes you know, when you get home, you just want to drop your bag and all your stuff on your dining room table or, you know, wherever, and then you kind of forget about it. And the next day happens and you just add more stuff to the pile until a couple days come around and you realize that you now have a pile of crap on your dining room table and now you have to clean it. So now what I've started to do is once I get home, I immediately put things in its place. Even though I am a clean person, I don't know really why I do that. I think maybe it's partly laziness, partly seeing if, you know, Brian will do it for me instead. But I just find that once you get home or once you're done with the project, just put it away. It takes you five minutes to put everything in its place versus the hour it would probably take you to clean everything up at the end of the week. All right, everyone, so those are my 10 habits that have completely changed my life. Let me know in the comments um, about the habits that you would recommend or maybe um, comment on the habits that I have or can make my habits better. But I don't know, it has just, these habits have just made my life easier, less complicated, and just, I guess, an overall more positive experience for myself. I'm Asia Dang. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time.